Hey guys and welcome back. We made it to week five. Yay! We made it to week five and the duckies are out here. They just got out playing in their water. They love it so, 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 so much. I think it's their favorite thing. And pretty soon I'm gonna have to get them a bigger tub because they can barely all three fit in it at once now. So I'm gonna just show you guys a couple of videos of what's been going on through the week and give you a little rundown. So yeah. All right. Oh. All right, guys, here I have my only Pekin. Um, she is the biggest out of the all three ducks that I have. Um, the blue Swedish are way smaller than her. She's like double their size, but she's also like head of the flock. She's like boss lady. Other guys follow her around wherever she goes. So if I carry her inside to the pen, then the other guys will follow, which is pretty nice because she's the most docile one as well. So, um, but yeah, she's probably like close to, uh, I don't know. I want to say like six, seven, maybe eight pounds. Her wings are pretty much fully grown in. Um, but yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's a really good girl. But let me show you one of the blue Swedish if I can catch one. All right, so I got one of these guys here. Um, this one is a little bit lighter in color compared to the other one. The other one has like, um, it, its head feathers are like really dark, pretty much black. And this one is still dark brownish. Um, but they're way more hyper than the Pekin. And they're harder to catch and they're uncontrollable pretty much. But their wings are also pretty much grown in. Their wings are really pretty actually. And they're always flapping them around like trying to show off or some shit. But um, yeah, see, as you can tell. Anyways, um, yeah, this is her. She's, she's feisty. She's a feisty one. <laughs> but yeah, I love them all. Hi so. guys, I'm in here with the ducks in their little pen and I thought I would show you real quick um because i never have how i do their water so their water is just about empty so i'm going to take it out and fill it so you can see the process of what i do twice a day for their waters So I just hose out the bottom because a lot of like food and like crap gets stuck in the bottom of it. But easy enough for me here, as you can see, this has a little plug on the bottom so I don't have to untwist this or take it off. I can just fill it up straight from the bottom, flip it over and take it back in. So I'll do that real quick. All right, I usually only fill this about three quarters of the way because it's really heavy when it's full and they also spill like probably like 70% of it. So I have to refill it twice a day anyway. Then we just flip this thing over, hope that it stays together because sometimes it like breaks apart and water goes everywhere. It didn't happen, yay! And then we just hang it back up inside.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for next week and any videos coming up.